Offensive guard Solomon Kindley is out Saturday night in Las Vegas. The Dolphins also activated running back Miles Gaskin off the reserve COVID-19 list. Yield. Wide receivers Devontae Parker and Jakeem Grant, tight end Mike Jasicki, defensive end Shaq Lawson and offensive guard Eric Flowers are all questionable for the game. Friday, Brian Flores weighed in on the two quarterbacks. Marcus is very talented, obviously can extend plays, make plays with his feet as well as with his arm, Flores said. I think with any quarterback, you want to try to keep him in the pocket, especially one who's as athletic, fast and skilled as Marcus. But, Derek Carr, he's also been able to step up and make plays with his feet as well. I'm not really sure which one we're going to get. I think the game plan for both guys is to try to keep him in the pocket in the pass game and we've just got to do a good job with reading our keys on the sum of the zone read things that they do with both quarterbacks, but I would say I think we all know that Marcus is more apt to probably keep the ball and can make plays with his legs. Saturday night under the bright lights of Vegas, a win would be a perfect post-Christmas gift for Dolphins. fans. It's the second prime time game of the year for Miami, who beat Jacksonville 31-13 in Week 3. Improving to 2-0 under the lights would get Miami to 10 wins for the first time since 2016. It would break a regular season all-time deadlock in the series with the Raiders 1-7-1-7-1, and it would create a win and in scenario next week in Buffalo. About Miles Gaskin, head coach Brian Flores updated status for Saturday. It was good to have him back out there, Flores said. I thought he looked good, had some juice, energy. We'll see how practice goes today and make a decision whether or not he's ready to go. Miami's most effective rushing day of the season came courtesy of 122 yards from Salvin Ahmed and 86 yards from Matt Breida. Ahmed received the lion's share of the work with 60% of the offensive snaps, but the Dolphins mixed in all three backs available for the game. Breida was on the field for 26% of the snaps and taps and Patrick Laird who chipped in with 20 rushing yards including a key conversion on 3rd and 8, was in the game for 11% of the workload. In seven games this season, Gaskins played 69.3% of the offensive snaps, 354 out of 511. So, the Dolphins have options at the position. Regardless of who totes the rock, creating lanes with the big guys up front is the surest bet to establish a solid ground game. I think as an O-line, we had a hat on a hat and got to the second level, and our backs had great vision and hit the hole fast, center Ted Karras said. Our tight ends, Adam Shaheen and Durham Smythe, really had some key blocks that sprung us to some big gains. We've been working on that for a long time. It felt really good to get a bunch of yards on the ground and continue our push here in late December. Harris mentioned, Miami's two tight ends help move bodies out of gaps and create consistent lanes off the edge. Last Sunday, the Dolphins carried the ball eight times off left or right end for 75 yards. We take good pride in being some dogs in the trenches, Shaheen said of the tight end and offensive line rooms. I think last week was awesome as far as rushing for 250 yards. Just staying on them like we did all game, eventually wearing them down and finally broke open some big ones. We could feel that momentum and them being drained and us just taking over. One step further, in the absence of wide receivers Devontae Parker and Jakeem Grant, Mac Hollins showcased one of his greatest traits, his run blocking. Hollins' 75.7 run blocking grade was second on the team in Sunday's game behind only right tackle Robert Hunt, who scored an 83.1 run blocking grade thanks in part to a punishing block that sprung Ahmed for 31 yards off the right end. On the season, Hollins' 73.2 run blocking grade leads the Dolphins. You seldom have a long run without those guys blocking, Dolphins offensive coordinator Chan Gailey said. That's something we've been working on and trying to get better at each week is how we can control those guys in the secondary, how we can affect them and get them blocked. They're getting better every week. I thought they've been getting better each week doing that. So we've got to continue that. The Raiders' rush defense is 25th in the NFL allowing 125.8 yards per game. Opponents average 4.6 yards per rush versus Las Vegas, tied for the sixth highest clip in the league. Like the Dolphins' ground game, the Raiders' defense could be getting reinforcements. Safety Jonathan Abram, defensive tackle Maurice Hurst and cornerbacks Damon Arnett and Nevin Lawson have all practiced in some capacity this week after missing last week's game.